Hi guys, what's up? Pete here again with another video and it's Nintendo news this time, not just Sega. It appears that the Nintendo NX will in fact be a portable handheld console with detachable controllers. So what does that mean? On the move, the Nintendo NX will function as a high-powered handheld console with its own display. So what does that mean? Well, the Nintendo NX will be a highly powerful handheld console with its own display. But this is where it gets interesting. What we've learned is that it seems to be bookended by two controller sections on either side of the system, which can be attached and detached as required when necessary. And then when you've done with that guys, you bring it home, you hook it up to your big TV for the traditional console experience. This sounds absolutely amazing. So how does this work you might be saying? Well, I'll tell you. Apparently, from what they're saying, a base unit or a docking station that you plug the NX handheld into with the controllers, and there you go, it works. So another question that keeps getting asked is, what's powering this? And from a lot of sources, a lot of people are saying it's the NVIDIA's powerful Tegra mobile processor. That sounds powerful. And another rumour that was going around, guys, was Nintendo was going to go back to cartridges, or stick with cartridges just like the 3DS. Well, apparently, that they're sticking with the cartridges, that's their choice of physical media, so it looks like we're going back to the 90s, guys. It doesn't seem like we'll be getting backwards compatibility, guys, because it's not a traditional console, but that's not the end of the world, though. Another source said that the system would run on a new operating system from Nintendo, and won't contrary to some of the early rumours that the system would be running on some type of Android OS. Now to some of the finer details that I'm reading up about this guys, it seems like Nintendo is not going to go for the graphical powerhouse that some of the fanboys and some of the Nintendo fans would have wanted. However, it's going more for innovation as opposed to power, which we all know Nintendo is very very good at. So some of this information was meant to come out around about September time, but it seemed to have leaked early. If I find out anything more, I will definitely let you know guys. Share this with your friends, leave us a like and a comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day guys, bye.